All right, so today in this video, I'm going to introduce a cool new AI coding platform called Tembo Labs AI. And for the past one week, I've been playing around with the platform. And to be honest, I'm truly impressed by what it can offer, especially the UI, the kind of UI this platform is able to design for my apps that I built using AI. Now today in this video, I'm going to give you a complete walkthrough of the platform and we'll also go ahead and build an app from scratch using Tembo Labs AI and also explore all the cool features it has to offer. And if that sounds interesting, without wasting further ado, let's jump straight in. All right, so this right here is Tembo Labs AI and the first thing that you got to do is to head over to the first link in the description below or head over to tembolabs.ai and you will be able to access this website. And again, one cool thing that I found in the homepage is that you can actually click and drag and drop this heading and tagline around the screen. Oh, even this one really cool nice touch and again if you scroll down you'll be able to find our interface as to how this will look and you can actually go ahead edit the visual aspects of the ui and all the components within your app i'll show more about that later and if you further scroll down you'll be able to find a lot more details about Tempo Labs and you can also go ahead and pick hundreds of components from reactcomponents.com and start using it in your project as well which again I'll show you in a bit and the first thing that you gotta do is to click on the login button and log in to your Tempo Labs AI account using github account and once you're there this is going to be the screen that you'll be taken to and again to create your first new project all you gotta do is to click on this create project option and you'll be taken to a screen like this and here you have three options they are generate new app connect github repository and design on blank canvas now since we are interested in creating a new app with ai from scratch i'll go ahead and select this option if you want to connect to an existing github repo you can do that or also design on blank canvas i can click on next and next up you just want to describe what kind of app you want to build and you know give a uh, basic pointers to the ai so in this context, let's say I want to build a AI powered voice note taking app where I can just go ahead and speak whatever stuff I want to and the AI will go ahead and transcribe it and then summarize it and show it as a note and we can go ahead and access previous and past generation from the history section. So that's the kind of app that we're trying to build. So I'll go ahead and say an AI powered voice note taking SaaS users should be able to record the audio and the ai will transcribe and summarize and store the notes for each dates okay so an ai powered voice not taking sas user should be able to record the audio and the ai will transcribe and summarize and store the notes for each dates so that's basically the initial prompt or the you know that's how i will describe the app that i want to build Oops, we have a typo in here. So that's for it. And again, if you have any inspiration for design or anything, you can go ahead and upload that image in here. And in this context, let's say I want to include a screenshot so I can click on this image option, click on select. And that should be pretty much it. So if you have any design mockup or inspiration, you can go ahead and upload it here and click on the generate button. And now the AI will go ahead and start building the app and it will first start with the PRD. So here you will be able to find the title of the app and all the basic functionalities and how, what are the features that you can expect out of the app. And then the AI will go ahead and create a user flow diagram, basically a memory diagram and you can view the code for the same in here as well. Okay. So if you want to, you can zoom in and oops, if you want to, you can zoom in and, you know, open it in full screen and find all the options and components and modules within your app. And now if I move over to the design tab, this is where the magic happens. Now the AI within Tempo Labs will go through the PRD and start designing all the pages, the components and everything else. And you can find a real time preview of the same in here. So first it will go ahead and create a wireframe with a tree like structure. So here we have the main page, then all the individual components that are supposed to go inside of this main page. And again, each individual components instead of this particular component. So basically it forms a tree like structure, basically like a DOM tree. And again, we'll wait for it to complete coding the same. And now as you can see it has created the wireframe and it has also created the routes and it is now creating all these individual components or cards as you can see they are creating a waveform visualizer note card recording interface note list and blah 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 stuff so now let's just go ahead and wait for the ai to complete coding the same all right so seems like it's done and if you want to view let's say the full screen preview all you gotta do is to click on this uh, play button so okay we have one more to complete so generating home route so let's wait Okay, so it seems like the entire uh, generation process is done. And if I click on this play button, we should be able to view the preview of the app. And this is what it has generated for now. Okay, not bad, right? And again, if you are not satisfied with the design and if you want to change the UI, you can just go ahead and say something like, I don't really like the design of the app for now. Can you change and redesign the entire UI? and incorporate let's say 
some modern design and make the site visually appealing okay so you can go ahead and give exact pointers as to how you want to redesign the app and hit enter and now the ai will go ahead and redesign the entire home page and will show you an updated version so let me wait for it to complete coding the same all right so i went ahead and asked the ai to redesign the app from scratch and this is how the ui of our app looks for now we have a record button in here the transcription ai summary timestamp and also a section to access recent recordings and if i click on this click to start recording it is now simulating how exactly things will look like if i make this app functional and if i stop recording it should show the transcription in here ai summary and also recent recording card in here now that we have our basic ui of the app done and ready the next step is to make it functional and that is to enable the actual recording functionality and also ai transcription and summarization using let's say ai and that is to use let's say open ai api so i can go ahead and say can you make the app functional by adding the ability to record uh, audio and transcribe and summarize it using open ai api so i can go ahead and hit enter and again the ai had already asked me if i want to use open ai sdk add your api again all that now it will go ahead and make all the required changes and hopefully it will ask me to go ahead and put my open ai api key to make the whole thing functional so let's wait all right so it seems like it has implemented the recording functionality and also audio transcription and summarization and the next thing that i got to do is to obtain my open ai api key and add it in the env file and again if you want to access all the files within your app all you got to do is to click on this icon right here file selector and you should be able to find all the you know files within the project and now i got to add my open ai api key for that i can click on env and here i want to add this open ai api key under read open ai api key so let me quickly go ahead and grab that so here i have copied my open ai api key and i'll go ahead and paste the same in here Control s maybe yep it's saved and that should be it right and now that everything is in place i should be able to use the app now so let me go ahead and refresh it once and let me see if actual functionality of the app is working so i can go ahead and click on start recording hey there i'm astro i'm recording a content for tempo labs ai which is like a coding platform where users with no coding knowledge can create stunning look apps using AI. So yeah, that's it. I can stop and it says processing your recording. So let's see it. Okay, so it works. So here we have the transcription. Here we have the summary and here we have the recording card as well. So recorded content for Tempo Labs AI, a coding platform allow users with no coding knowledge to create apps using AI. All right, so here we have the AI summary, the transcription. And if I go ahead and create a new one, this is yet another recording that I'm doing to test the functionality of the app that I'm building. That is voice not AI assistant. And I hope, I hope it works. So let's see. So I went ahead and created another one. Here we have the real transcription, the AI summary, and also the recording history as well. And if you want to, you can edit it and delete it as well. Okay. So the core functionality of our app is actually working now. And if I head back to Tempo, okay, let me give you a walkthrough of the UI of Tempo Labs AI. So towards the left side, you will find an area where you can converse with the AI, where you can go ahead and give all any suggestions or make any changes or add new features and all that. You can just go ahead and put it in the uh, chat box and send it. You can go ahead and upload images for inspiration. And you can also use this app pick and add context button to select uh, individual elements within the app and make changes to it. For example, I could click on this icon right here and select any area to add it into the context like this. As you can see, browser router or maybe a different one here. Let's say, okay, this one right here, the storyboard recording interface. And now I can go ahead and give a prompt and the changes will be focused on this particular area. Okay, so you can individually target all the components within your page and make changes. And you can go ahead and upload image and pick a context and do all that. And again, if you select any particular, let's say element, let's say this one right here okay so this recording button and now towards the right side you'll be able to edit the styling properties of that particular element now in this case i have selected this uh, recording button with this div and as you can see we can now visually edit a lot of styling like position size spacing layout and all that for example if i want to change the spacing i could go ahead and edit the values in here and do that if i want to change the alignment i can do that like clicking on this option so if i click on here as you can see the element has moved to the other side i can click on this one to make it in center and again if you want to you can just change the alignment just like this justify center next up if i want to i can go ahead and click on the styles option and change the opacity change the fill color like this if i want to 
maybe i can just go ahead and give it a different color using this color picker like this for now i'll keep it as white and if you want to you can go ahead and change the border radius rotation border and if you select this text option you'll be able to change the font weight size alignment and all that stuff okay so if you want to you can actually use this like a real design tool so it almost felt like i'm using figma to create like a real app so i can go ahead and target individual elements and adjust the styling of it from the options towards the right side so that's how we visually customize your app and again if you move over to the code section you'll be able to view the code of the any elements you can select any components like this and view the code for the same or if you want to view the code you can go ahead and click on this icon right here file selector view all the files within your project and view the code for the same as well so that's how this whole thing works and again if you click on this option you can go ahead and push this to github you have a version history section you have a design system and again you can go ahead and access the dom tree right here so the tree like hierarchy of your components of the app and again also have this asset option where you can go ahead and select components from reactcomponents.com and add it to your app as well and again the cool thing that i'm very interested in is this part right here that is to connect to superbase now this right here is does not really have any database or user authentication or anything as such and we can use the superbase option right here to implement all of that basically add a, let's say a backend to our app so now that the basic functionality of our app is working that is to record and you know summarize the content the next thing that i will do is to implement user authentication and for that all i gotta do is to click on the superbase icon click on connect superbase and it will open a superbase uh, authorization page and all i gotta do is to select my organization and click on authorize tempo labs and that should be it now tempo labs should connect to superbase and should have all these you know projects within my let's say superbase account in here and again before that if you click on this figma extension option you'll be able to convert a figma design into a tempo project using this particular plugin or extension within uh, figma i'll create a dedicated video about it soon so wait for it and again now coming back to superbase i can go ahead and select the particular project that i want to use and before that i want you to go to superbase okay i'll go to superbase log into my account and if you don't already have an account you can just go ahead and create one and again the next thing that you're going to do is to click on this new project option select the organization and create a new project now for this video i've already created a project so what is it okay new sas this right here is the project that i've created for this video and now i can head back to tempo and select that what is it okay new sas i can click on it and click on the connect options now the AI will go ahead and connect it to my Superbase account and now I can go ahead and implement authentication databases and you know all that stuff so let's wait all right so Superbase authentication is successful next up I'll go ahead and open the AI chat and I'll go ahead and say implement user authentication and I can hit enter now Tempo Labs AI will go ahead and use Superbase authentication to integrate authentication into our app this way users can sign up and you know start using our app and only authenticated users will be allowed to use our app as well and now it is giving us the sql prompt or sql queries that we need to run so we can just go ahead and copy it from here all right and next up i need to open let's say superbase and go to this sql editor section right here paste the uh, thing that we copied from tempo labs and all i gotta do is to click on this run option oh it says error relation public recording does not exist so i can go ahead and let's say copy this one from here head back to tempo okay let's just wait for it to complete this one first all right so seems like that part is done so i can go ahead and say when i run the sql query you gave i get the following error and i can go ahead and give it oops gave and hit enter let's see okay so i'll go ahead and copy the same where is it oops copy head back to superbase replace the content and hopefully it works run and as you can see it is success and now if okay before that i'll go to authentication uh where is it sign in sign up and auth providers select email and make sure to disable this option that says confirm email otherwise you'll have to set up smtp and all that kind of stuff so we don't want to get there now i guess authentication should be working all right so when you try to access the app for the first time you'll be taken to this login page this means the main functionality of our app is behind uh you know it's a protected route so only if you sign up for a new account you'll be able to use it so i can click on sign up put my email in here password click on sign up oh account created so yep and if i come over to here and click on users i should be able to find my new user account oh yes there you have it provider email my email and yep i have now successfully implemented uh user authentication and i played with that you know uh visual editor 
and now uh, my ui is broken so let me go ahead and fix that real quick so i went ahead and fixed the same and as you can see it is now clean and looks good now if i head over to superbase and go to let's say table editor you will find that we now have two tables one is for recording and other one is for profiles and every time now you create a new recording it will be saved to database meaning that all of it will be stored in the database and you should be able to access it even if you refresh the page right so let me just go ahead and really try it out hi there this is a test audio that i'm recording to test if the functionality of the app is working as intended it says processing let's see oh there you have it so here we have the transcription ai summary and also recent recording and if i head back to superbase and click on recording yes there you have it so we have that entry in here and now pretty much everything is working right next up let's say i want to create a landing page for my app showcasing every cool features it has to offer and you know couple of explanation about our app so i can go ahead and say create a stunning looking landing page for my app and hit enter so let's give a open-ended you know prompt and let's see what ai does for us all right so it seems like it's done and it has created the landing page for us so if i go ahead and refresh so this right here is the landing page that the ai has created for us so we have a couple of cards in here a hero section we have okay a interactive demo which does not seem to work and if i click on the try it now button it should take us to the let's say our app and now let's say i want to add let's say a navigation bar so i can go ahead and say add a nav bar to the landing page and oops page and add a couple of dummy links and sign up and get access button so now let's just go ahead and wait for the AI to create the navigation bar and implement the same on my let's say landing page so let's wait all right so the navigation bar is implemented i went through some errors so i just went ahead and asked the AI to fix it and this is how the nav bar will look like so now we have some dummy links get access button sign in button a hero section a couple of cards and all that stuff and again if i click on the get started button it should take me to the app section here we can go ahead and record the content see the transcription recent recordings and all that maybe if you want to add let's say a sidebar in here or maybe let's say a, a navigation bar to the top you can go ahead and do that and this is how simple it is to create an app using tempo labs ai and if you want to make any further changes you can go ahead and give all that instructions in here and make the changes exactly like the way you want next up i went ahead and asked the ai to add some gradient colors and all that to our app and seems like the changes are live and let's see so okay so we now have this gradient text in here and also accent colors to the behind so yeah that's how you build a app using tempo labs ai so as you saw this is how simple it is to create an app using tempo labs ai coding platform and it's pretty simple all you gotta do is to give all the requirements that you have and the ai will go ahead and write the code for you do all that stuff and since tempo labs has integration with superbase you can go ahead and add a real database authentication and all kind of backend functions as well so that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video and to access tempo labs ai all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below and you can head over to their website log in with your github account and start using the platform and they also have a generous free tier as well so if you want to check out you know the app and how it works and all that so yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one